Alright, you. What do you want? I... Mm, I don't want any Moogle milk. No, don't, don't do this to me. Uh, uh, Gala, uh, Terrison has been looking for you, Kubo. It's an important matter. We must discuss it once. He's, he's right... He's right there. Uh. Uh, Gala, there you are. I must say the attitude of the Mugmenders is much improved. They have mastered the basics of stone masonry more quickly than I had anticipated. They remain ever eager to learn. Once the rubble has been cleared, we can begin rebuilding. Therein lies our problem, however. I am afraid we lack the numbers to remove the debris on our own. I requested aid from the Mughals of Asar, uh, but have yet to receive a response. Uh, doubtless they are trying to avoid any kind of hard work. And so I would task you, my dear Mogsen, with bringing them here. I give you leave to use whatever trick you can conceive of to get those lingering Mughals to bear less. Uh, you, you want me to form Mughals? I've never done that, Yubo. Uh, not successfully, anyway. Uh, do not be so quick to lose hearts. You fail only because your ideas are half-formed, barred by compromise and poor planning. You must persevere in your efforts if you wish to succeed. It is as the words of my house state, by the hundredth below. A single strike of the chisel merely scratches a stone surface. It is only with constant effort that stones give rise to bricks, to walls, and at last an impregnable fortress. Such is the power of will, of perseverance, of determination. Uh, will, perseverance, determination. Uh, I will remember, Cupo. Uh, yes, I'll craft a trick so cunning they'll sing songs of it throughout Margo. Mm. <laughs> ah, that's the spirit. You are a leader, and it is past time you took charge. Show the others that the Mogmenders are not to be trifled with. However, while I have great faith in Mogzin, he has still yet to meet his full potential. Which is why I must ask you to accompany him, Gala. Make sure he does not slip back into his old ways. Give that bomb bomb of his a firm shake if you sense his will is wavering. So... Okay. I'm sure there will be no need for that, Cubo. Uh, nevertheless, I would certainly appreciate the company. Uh, well then, shall we be off? Uh, we should begin by speaking with Mug up, a Moogle in charge over the Sa. So, uh, let me get this straight. You want me to grab these Moogles by the pom pom and swing them around ferociously. Like that one gif of Hulk and Loki. Buddy, you don't even need to pay me to do that. Ooh, I'll do that in free charge. Mug up. Mug up. Ugh. If it isn't Master Mugson and the adventure I've heard so much about. Hmm. I seem to recall a quest of some manner from the Mugmenders. Oh, yes. He required extra paws to help move the rebel. That's correct, Cubo. The request was made some time ago, and still not a single Moogle has arrived at Bear Les. It's not even that far. We can't hope to make any progress without them. Oh, uh, yes, you could forget such an unusual name. Uh, of course, I dispatched several Moogles the moment the missive came, but I'm afraid I may have sent them to the wrong location. Awfully hard to pronounce that name, you see. Uh, why, I suppose they could be anywhere now, uh, without the provisions for a long journey. Oh, how dreadful, Cupo. All alone amongst those wild beasts, hungry and afraid. Uh, curse my clumsy tongue. Curse it. Uh, could, you, uh, could you help me find them? Uh, please bring them something to sate their hunger, and I'm certain they'll be most willing to help. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, culinarian, or down here, yes? I'm sorry, were you speaking to me? Hello? Huh? Can't hear you over the fucking groveling you're doing. Oh, uh, of course. An understandable mistake. I can see it's pronounced half the names I hear. Uh, don't worry, Mogup. My companion and I will have the Ants and Moogles back here and safe post haste. It wouldn't serve to go searching blindly, however, as we become lost ourselves. Now we must discuss our strategy beforehand. Uh, uh, Gala, let's confer down below. 
away from prying ears. <laughs> I can see it now, the pom-poms shivering in fear. Uh, please, you must do something. I've never been able to live with myself should they come to harm you. Uh, yeah, sure, they can't. Uh. What? Uh, uh, huh? What? Excuse me? This is my home now. I live here. Who needs an apartment in the mist? Oh, this is. I've got to live up here. Oh, wait, there's moguls. Never mind. Terrible neighbors. Uh, little does Magnet mug up know, I've already fallen for this trick. Uh, twice! I trouble yourself to get your own food when a gullible Moogle will deliver it right to you. It would be a brilliant ploy if it wasn't so overused. And now we have our chance to... You know, what did Terrison say? Ah! Turn the tables! If we can trick them into going to bear Les, I dare say they'd stay just as a sight of respect! Magop and his lackeys are a clever bunch, though. How could I possibly get the better of them? If only we could use those fake coupon nuts. Ah, but by now, every Moogle and Mogholm and beyond has heard of them. Rightly so, they are truly masterpieces. Certainly not something I could ever hope to surpass. And there's no shame in that. Well, yes, why reach for the skies where the cupo nut is hanging just within reach? Besides, I saw as far from Mogholm, I wager Mogholm and the others have heard nothing of your fake cupo nuts. Well, then I believe the matter is settled. Don't. You could do better than this. Why do the same thing twice? Hey, no, not my palm, Cuba. But I remember, I remember Tessa's words. Just keep your hands right where they are. I'll come up with my own trick. I'll make Mark up think twice before trying to trick me again. Ugh. Thank you, Gala. Tessa said it was right to have you accompany me. If you were not here, I would have given up before I remembered a special something that might serve as the perfect tool for a trick. Very special something. I haven't got any myself, though. Certainly not in the quantity required, but there is one muggle who might. Uh, Gala, come with me to Magholm so we can seek out the council of the alchemist Morgan. Yes, it's all falling into place, Hugo. Why am I getting a mount? I... I you know what, Magholm really isn't that far away. I mean, it's right there, for God's sake. Oh, there you are. Ah, <clears throat> uh, hey, Gala. My apologies. I had to pick something up from Bad Les on the way. I hope I didn't keep you waiting long, Cupid. Ah, uh, the mighty adventurer graces us with her presence again, Cupo. Oh, and greetings to you as well, Noxon. What brings you two all the way from Baroness? Uh, Magop is up to his old tricks, but I mean to take the upper paw this time, Kyobo. For that, I require your, m your most potent medicine. Most potent, potion seller. Oh, and on a completely unrelated note, I brought you a gift. Here you are. Uh, well, I certainly can't just give you a... <sighs> Gilpodots. Larger than any I've seen, even more so than those of Chieftain Maglin's secret reserve. What was that? Nothing! You've always been a stout supporter of the Magmenders. I just thought I should express my gratitude. Oh, of course, of course, I understand, Cupo. I would take to quite a gift from you, Magson. It is. Only a gift, yes? Oh, why, Mark, you loaned me. I would never intend for it to be anything else. Hmm. Ahem. 
Cooper. Uh, lifting stones is dangerous work, and it would be dreadful if anyone was injured, especially so far from home. You shall have your medicine, Mogson. Uh, practice caution, however. Use too much and you may do more harm than good. I promise to be responsible, Cubo. Uh, Gala, I believe we are finished here. I'll meet you back at the start, after I finish some final preparations. I'll try not to be late this time. I have been doing so many Moogle videos for these quests, and I've done so much of this voice, I, I think it's taking over. Hello, good sir. How goes the search? I've looked up and down, under every rock, get behind every bush, and <laughs> can find no sign of the poor moogles. All this searching has made me terribly thirsty, by the way. Now I know how the others must feel. <laughs> it's tearing me apart, Cubo. Ah, mug up. Enough. I surrender. I must say, your every trick is more impressive than the last. This one was so impressive, in fact, that I brought a bounty of cupo nut milk to give to everyone. <laughs> Mugson's been outsmarted again, Cupo. You really must stop making this so easy. There's no sports in it anymore. However, we'll gladly accept these libations as a just reward for our ingenuity. Time to call the others. <laughs> hey, did you see Cubo? Mugup's none the wiser. He thinks that's just regular Cubo nut milk, but we know better. Oh, I can scarce believe that I, Mugzen, am fully about to trick Moogles. Uh, come, Gala, Mugup will soon get his just desserts. This is gonna be fun. Wait, where do you want me to go? Oh, I don't know where that is. Away, my flying chocolate creature. Whatever the hell you are. Here? Okay, here. Mogsen, what are we doing here? Okay. <laughs> Gala, quickly! Mug up the others are just about to partake of my special milk. Don't refer to it as that. Mugsen has been tricked again, and not for the last time. In his humbleness, he has rewarded our surpassing cleverness with a bounty of cupo nut milk. A drink deep, my friends, and bask in victory. Why is it... Why is it bottled? Like wine? Ah, there's nothing like a nip of milk after a... after a... What is... Ooh... Your poor... Oh... Impossible. Bugs and you couldn't... Ooh... <laughs> Get drunk, you little flying rats! <laughs> What's in the milk, you ask? Well, a few pinches of the crushed cloud of mallow seeds. 
and enough, qu large enough quantities, they put Moogles into a deep sleep. <laughs> Once they're dozing soundly, I need only whisper in the ears to complete my plan. Look, Agala, and bear witness to a Mogmender's guile. <laughs> Working Moogle is a happy Moogle, Kyopo. A uh, working Moogle is a happy Moogle, Kyopo. From sunup till sundown, you'll work up a sweat with an area frown. From sunup to sundown, work up a sweat with an area frown. Here we go! Oh, friends, isn't it a perfect day for back? What the fool, boy? What the fuck is happening? Isn't it a perfect day for backbreaking labor? Uh, who needs rest? Not I, Kipo. Who wants to sweat? Uh, I do. I don't want to know that Kipo sweat. That's that's not knowledge. What the hell? Hold on, you can't just... Holy shit. Okay. Victory, Cubo! I doubt Mugup will dare try to trick me again after this. And now to reap the rewards. Let's return to bad less and see what Moogle's hard at work can accomplish. I'm sorry, you only need to whisper in their ears and they'll do fucking whatever? What just... What just happened? Am I the one being pranked? That did not happen. I'm gonna go to Bear Less and there's gonna be a camera crew. Joy, sweat, so much sweat. I pop pop it birds from set up till sundown. Moxon, what the fuck did you do? I think I think we're breaking a few labor laws here. I think this, uh, uh, whatever. I call it's terrible. When well, I've got the rubble cleared, Kipo. Mugup and the others began working eagerly at first, but they collapsed after carrying only one rock between them. I know they aren't used to hard work, but this beggar's belief! Eh, perhaps all is not lost, however. When Moogle's in such a sorry state, the only cure I know of is more cloud mellow! Okay. And I believe you can help with that, Kala. Uh, mount a mallow and sprinkle some puffs on these Moogles, and their palms should perk right up. Just ask the Moogle God to get to, to ride. I'll be looking to the skies. Perhaps a double but I thought, where are you going? This thing? Hello. Well, I say no more. I know exactly why you're here. Just shake your rump a bit and rain mallow puffs on the poor Moogles. Or they'll be back in tip-top shape. Hold on, I'm sure the mallow can support your weight. What the hell? Uh, yeah, no, I'm definitely being pranked here. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah! Ah, I seem to recall. 
Being tired? Impossible! Inconceivable! Why, I dare say I could clear the rubble myself! A working Moogle is a happy Moogle, Kyoko! What, what the... I'm, f I'm fairly certain this breaks a couple of labor laws, but whatever. Okay. Just got on a big, big dandelion, okay. Ah, the Molo Pups seem to do it, Kubo. If they keep up this pace, then the rubble should be cleared in no time. What's more, now that I've hoodwinked the Moogle, I'm sure there's some respect around here. I am the master of the Mogmenders, after all. Uh, Terrison, Gala, if not for your support, I would have given up long ago. To see my efforts succeed at last, I've never felt this sense of accomplishment before. You have my thanks. Ah, uh, brilliant, my dear Mogson. Remember my words, and your conviction shall show through in the quality of your craftsmanship. I will, I most certainly will. I tell us that your words will guide me in both my works and my studies. Okay, uh, yeah, give me the crafter's stuff. I'm totally gonna use that. Oh, wow, an actual desk and an anvil. Cool. Bear less itself doesn't really look all that different, but... I suppose everything's cleared. Thanks to your effort, the rubble has been cleared from Bear Less. Continue assisting the Mogmenders to see repair of the plaza completed. We have more quests, and a level up, but more importantly, more quests. Alright. Oh. Oh, this is a problem. <laughs> 